standings after the second rotation. Shylees Jones is taking a commanding lead on the field with that Leanne Wong mistake on the uneven bar. She has a 1.65 lead. Nola Matthews currently sits in the third spot with a 26.9, giving a little bit of a push to the world all-around silver medalist. That'll be interesting to watch that as the meet progresses into the second half. I am curious what the all-around is going to look like by the time this competition's over. And when you say curious, you mean from second place on down because Shylees Jones has got a stranglehold. I don't want to jinx anything, but I 100% agree with you. Two events down for Shylees. Outstanding vault, outstanding uneven bars. Really, that is what jumps out to me right now as far as her performance is. The balance beam, the great equalizer always, right? Does the meet start until you get to balance beam, it feels like? <laughs> Sometimes it, it, that's exactly what it feels like. Going back to Shy Jones, though, what's fantastic about her gymnastics is that not only is there one event that we look at for her and we say, wow, she really rocks that event. We see that in all four events for her. So talk about a true all-arounder. She's got that wow factor for all four, and that is not something we see often. I'm excited to see what she's going to show on beam today. Lots of difficulty for her. Something we're stressing would be the entrance, how we enter the beam. Shilees Jones coming into her third event here now. With a commanding lead in the all-around again, 1.65 over Leanne Wong. And the hurdle that is the balance beam, though. It can always get anybody, but she has looked as solid as any gymnast this week here in Salt Lake. Oh! That's a one-point fall for Shy Jones. And that is something that's been encouraged, and, and the value has been raised at those difficult mounts onto the balance beam. Not something Team USA has done a whole lot historically. We should definitely acknowledge that standing Arabian she just did. Oh, and second fall. Mm. That's definitely going to hurt the all-around score. Talk about having a mistake on beam and how hard is it to have a short memory and get back up there and focus. Honestly, you got to kind of wipe your memory of that ever happening. Otherwise, this unfortunate domino effect can happen where you make one mistake, you start making other mistakes, and it just leads into kind of unfortunately what we just saw here. But you just gotta refresh your brain and keep things moving. And that appears to be what she's doing. She looks a little shaky. bonus for doing three skills in a row. Her artistry is beautiful though. Comes the dismount. See the height. Beautiful backhands or backhands from double pike. Lots of air time, unfortunate two falls for Shilise Jones. And let's take a look at the first one. In, in her defense, this is a new skill. Like the other athletes here, she is trying some new things. And when you try new things... Sometimes mistakes can happen. But again, this is exactly what Classics is for. To try these new skills, it's OK to make these mistakes. Of course, you don't want to do that you know, on any competition, but... And she knew she was off on that second one. She did not even fight it. And sometimes there is no fight to be had. Yeah. But that was a stunning dismount. Way to end the routine. She does have floor exercise next, and that is a wow factor event for her. So hopefully she can kind of refresh her brain and keep things moving. A moment ago, you may have heard the floor music in the background. Caitlin Rosen on floor exercise. Also out of Twin City Twisters Gymnastics, coaches Sarah Jancy and Steve Haifman 
and she's got a big time mount to open this routine. Yes, her full twisting double layout on floor is quite a new debut for her. Stunning! She landed that like she's been doing that for decades. Beautiful double layout last pass. If you notice her toes, she hopped back and stayed on her toes knowing that if she put her heels down, she would be out of bounds. That is something to keep an eye out for. Talk about air awareness. She has that down to a T. Very clean third pass. she enters her fourth pass, you're gonna see a lot of choreographed deep breaths here. Keep the endurance going strong. Finishes strong with a stuck double tuck last pass. This was a beautiful routine. Jam-packed difficulty in those tumbling passes. Caitlin Rosen worked hard in that routine. Comes out of Texas, but like her teammate Levi, she moved from Texas to Minnesota, Levi from LA to Minnesota, and here she gets a 13.7 for that Flora team. Shilise Jones, diff disappointing Beamer team, 11.5, and you can see where they got her, that 5.9 in the execution score. There's gonna be a change atop the leaderboard here at the US Classic. Wobble there, but she keeps it moving. I'm seeing a couple form breaks, a couple flexed feet. But overall, even, even through nerves, she's going through with a hit routine. Let's finish strong. Well done. So put yourself in Nola Matthews' shoes for a moment. I know she's not wearing any, but <laughs> you just saw Shailise Jones, who Everyone knows she's been around, she's a veteran, she is a favorite here, mm -hmm. favorite to make the world team. Then you have Leanne Wong ahead of you in the standings, and here's an opportunity for you to maybe take the lead over both of those athletes at age 15. How big a moment can that be? I think it, at times it can put a lot of pressure, but once you're on the equipment, that thought has to leave your mind. You have to go back to what you're doing in practice and in training, and just let your muscle memory kick in. And it seems like she did exactly that. Oftentimes, you watch athletes ahead of you fall, and that can trigger a fall from yourself. Couple little tweaks, like some flexed feet, some form breaks, right here. Maybe not a full 180 split, but once again, you have to commend her for hitting a full routine. Bit of a chest down on that landing. We like to see the chest match the equipment. So that way you're standing with great posture. On, Leanne, you if your chest it. is facing the floor, you're gonna get a pretty hefty deduction for that. Leanne Wong will be the next gymnast to go. And again, coming off a full collegiate season, has some of those elite skills, but certainly putting together elite routines versus college routines in such a short amount of time has gotta be challenging. Sure it is, but she did mention that all those competitions gave her a little bit more confidence when she's competing, so part of me wonders if that's gonna transfer well, even though she's doing a bit higher level skills. Nola scores a 12.5, so not a huge score, but that makes up a point 
on Shailise Jones. Now, Leanne Wong, with a hit routine, you have to expect she will take that top spot alone. Leanne's elegance on beam is just beautiful. I can't imagine them taking much artistry deductions on this. That is in a 13.15. We'll move Leanne Wong into sole possession in first place. And she is definitely capable of that. Stunning switch ring. We'll definitely get credit for that. Your back leg has to be above your head. Your head has to be bent all the way backwards. It can't be up towards the ceiling. It has to be all the way behind you. And she's done just that. When you watch Leanne Wong, you you compare her to other gymnasts and you can tell that something's different. It's her execution, her pointed toes, her straight legs. She is cool as a cucumber on the balance beam. When you watch her, you're not stressed. You're just watching something amazing happen. Reminds me a bit of Kyla Ross in that sense. Here comes the dismount. Finishes strong with a beautiful two and a half twist. Definitely finished it all the way around, so she'll get credit for that. It that certainly, was certainly feels like more than a 13.15 by the look on Leanne's face. She seems to feel the same way. Alan Armine, her coaches at Gage, the Great American Gymnastics Express. Beautiful switch rings. A lot of times you won't see that head lay all the way back. The eyes will be kind of towards the ceiling and that can get devalued very easily. So we don't see a lot of athletes doing switch rings because Judges can be very harsh on that, but Leanne does it beautifully. She really has all the characteristics you want of a great all-around gymnast. She has the grace and the artistry that you talk so much about, but she also has that power. Don't deny, you'd think a lot of times that the very artistic gymnasts, and not always, but Often, a lot of times yeah. they don't have that same power, but when you combine both, guess what you get? You get a world silver medalist or maybe even a world champion, and I feel like Leanne is is that athlete. You get Leanne Wong. <laughs> and you get Shailise Jones, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. She is that same type of athlete, very special, obviously not the beam routine that she wanted to have, but you can see those similar characteristics <laughs> between those two. Yeah, and I think a lot of times we see the comparison between two athletes like Nastia Lugan and Sean Johnson, their styles in gymnastics are vastly different. Nastia is known for essentially being very elegant, long lines, smooth, flexible, and Sean was just a powerhouse. She's tumbling on beam, she's doing some crazy stuff on floor. So when you get to see a hybrid of athletes like those two, who obviously in their own right are of fantastic caliber, it's a joy to watch. You want the variety in gymnastics. Have two more gymnasts yet to go here on the balance beam as we wait for Leanne Wong's score. On, Judging these days is, it's, it's not a simple math problem, is it? I mean, <laughs> it is a complicated formula, and once in a while it takes a little bit of time, but we have the score in 13.55. That is enough to move her into the top spot, but it is still close. It is anybody's meet to win between Shailise and Leanne and maybe a couple behind them. But right now, Sienna Alipio from Midwest Gymnastics, same gym that Suni Lee Olympic all-around champion came out of up in Minnesota. That was a stunning flight series. Three in a row aerials and she stuck it. Bit of a wobble on the dance there. The judges have a checklist for artistry in terms of posture, footwork, rhythm.
that's a one point fall, unfortunately. And that's a strong event for Sienna, so that is unfortunate. Was in sixth place coming into this rotation. That was a really unique gainer full dismount. We don't see those very often. That was satisfying to watch, that dismount. Sienna has plans to compete collegiately for UCLA. And there is her coach, Jess Graba. Coach of Suni Lee, Ali Lim in the background. Jess's wife, also a coach of Sienna and Suni to that Olympic all-around gold medal. Jess is twin brother Jeff, actually the head coach at Auburn where Suni Lee attended her freshman year. So keeping it all in the family, certainly been the incredible asset to the Auburn Tigers this season was Suni Lee. Going back to Sienna's beam, she started off so strong. Look at this, no wobble. At the beginning of this routine, she had what we would call sticky feet, not moving at all. Wobble on the dance there. That one, I could tell you, she kicked herself for it. She had that little <laughs> smirk on her face, no one, did I really do that? She was like, ah. Oh. Ah. That switch half can be quite a difficult skill. Align it with the beam. More often than not, that split is not aligned with the beam and it causes you to tilt on either side or fall, just as we unfortunately just saw. According to her coach, Jess Graba, she he said that this is the plan right now to go through championships, which she has uh, qualified for. But after championships, the plan is to move on from her elite career as of now. And we've seen that change, obviously, but that is currently the direction they are heading. I do love the hop back and forth we're seeing between collegiate gymnastics and elite gymnastics. Um, it's something that we saw in men's artistic gymnastics for so long. Um, men competing at national championships for their college rather than their home gym. And for the longest time in women's artistic gymnastics, we weren't able to do that. Typically, as soon as you start in college gymnastics, your elite career is over. But within the last few years, that has completely changed. And we're seeing athletes come back into the scene, just like Leanne after doing a year in University of Florida. And it's exciting. It means that the journey doesn't end if you don't want it to. Opportunities keep flowing in. I think it's a mindset change too. You know, I think it's a mindset for maybe the elite program a little yes. bit going, yeah, these athletes can go on to college and yeah. come back. And But I also think gymnastics as a whole, you know, it's it, growing up in gymnastics, it, it for the women has always been these petite gymnasts that have, and you have to be like that to be great. And that's not how it is anymore. You know, these, these athletes are grown adults and grown yeah. women, and they're showing that they are every bit as athletic as anyone else out on the floor, and I think it's outstanding. Exactly, and I think a really important note is understanding that each gymnast naturally has a different body type. You cannot compare, one is not better than the other. Everybody carries different strengths, and they always should be highlighted. It's Everybody has something special in them. Score for Sienna Olympia, 11.4 for that beam routine. Now concluding this rotation, Amelia Desidore on the balance beam, also from Gage. That back leg was quite bent. So unfortunately they will deduct that. I want you to keep an eye out on her ankles. I mentioned earlier that if you're seeing shaky ankles, it typically is a sign of nerves, and we're seeing that a lot from her. But even with those nerves, she keeps it moving. left leg was a bit low, but no wobbles. That's what we like to see. 
As we heard the bell just rang, she's got 10 seconds to get off the beam. Clean round off double four. Bit of a hop on that landing. But overall, that's a hit routine. Something to be proud of. Coming into that balance beam, Amelia was tied for ninth. Looking to move up. That is rotation three in the books. Leanne Wong is your leader.